tonight on Reality Reflex. It's finally here. We're at the season finale of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 6. Hey everybody, it is Tedly Tedlicious here and going into tonight, the kickoff drama was Ginger Mange versus Kylie Sonique Love talking themselves up saying everybody better watch out because pick a category and I can take it. Thank you. This week we'll get right into the challenge itself. So RuPaul had the one and only Tanya Tucker come back to RuPaul's Drag Race many years later. She was on one of the early seasons and now she's back and she is going to be a guest feature on the new RuPaul country song and the queens are gonna do a verse too. Well that is just so interesting. I'm gonna go get another cocktail. So the queens did some prep in the workroom and here they are performing on the main stage after a little Jamal Sims action, you know. So let's get right into it with my top two queens of the week. I'm splitting them up with the best two and the worst two. And so here are the top queens to start with number two. All right, so with that said, I have Kylie Sonique Love at number two. Let me just say, I don't think any of the queens knew the words to this lip sync because I think they were just were pumping them to get it finished fast. And so I don't think that was perfected. So what I'm really going off on is how they performed and Kylie Sonique Love worked her motherfucking ass off. I truly believe that her performance was the best as far as dancing in this challenge. Number one for me this week was Raja O'Hara because I personally felt like she knew her lines the best. And so for me, the lip sync sold it. So hell yes, Raja O'Hara was the queen of this episode for this challenge. And of course, with the good comes the bad, so let's just get down to my worst two queens of the week. The queens who basically, like I'm saying, none of them really killed the lip sync, so I'm going off of who just performed the best. And so number two, I have to say, is Eureka O'Hara, because she was given some kicks, she was given some motions, you know, her Eureka-isms. So she was there, she was present, and she was giving a great performance. This week to me, unfortunately, I put Ginger Minch here. We all know she's perfected her whole persona. So, you know, we've kind of seen everything that she's done before. This almost could have been the gummy bear performance from the first episode all over again. That's why I put her for number one for the worst of the week. Is this bitch for real? And now we'll get into the best runways, my favorite outfits that walk down this stage. First up, we had Eureka O'Hara giving us a share finale moment. It was truly elegant. It was Eureka next level. She is a headpiece bitch and she is showing it once again. This was seriously the outfit to motherfucking leave this runway. It was the perfect runway to end this fucking show. My next favorite look was Kylie Sonique Love, who was doing something that you don't usually do at the season finale, which is do a small little dress and show a lot of body. These queens usually want to show the biggest and, you know, most extensive drags they have. But when you're Kylie Sonique Love, and you know you be looking all good and stuff, then you be coming out, you know, looking all sexy and giving them body and leg and titties, you know, and giving them the American dream. So you know what, that's what she did. And that's why she rocked it, okay? And then we have sophisticated as hell, Raja O'Hara coming out. She was looking glamorous. She was looking purple. She was looking upscale. This was just really fabulous. This was a great ending for her. She was the purple queen, and this was the best purple garment to exit this competition as well. She was ready. She had this look, you know, on the back burner for this finale ending realness. This was the fantasy, and she slayed. Yeah, bitch, work. And I also have to give a shout out to Shay Coulee's outfit. So she was back in a video scene where she was coming off as this futuristic cyborg robotic Shay Coulee fantasy, where the face was fabulous, and the rest of the body, I don't even know if it was hers, but it was amazing, and she looks so incredible, and she totally deserves a motherfucking shout out from being the all-stars five motherfucking bitch. After these queens did a four-way lip sync all individually, and let me say they all did really good, but they're, I mean, I gotta just say it, Kylie having slipped on her motherfucking clothes and then just did a tumble right into it in official Kylie Sonique Love style, yes. So this was an amazing ending to the show. And with that, Kylie Sonique Love was the winner. Yes, she was. She deserved it. Season two was my favorite. And now it is again because Kylie was back. These queens at the end totally worked their asses off to get here. 
Raja for sure because she really needed to fix her reputation. Eureka deserved it. Ginger deserved it. And Kylie deserved it. Kylie motherfucking deserved it. And also, she is the first double crown queen because she was the Christmas queen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but she was on the Christmas episode too. So she got that crown. And now she finally got the All-Stars crown. And she is a great addition to this motherfucking Hall of Fame. So thank you guys so much for watching. I, at the end of the day, am going to give this episode three out of five RuPaul's Drag Race statuette fantasies. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys for next season. Season 14, girl? I don't even know. Thank you so much. Mwah.